Hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are here on Monday. It's the first day of June, June 1, 2020. Welcome to a new week. Welcome to a new month. Um, and I'm excited. Well, let me just change my audio device here. There we go. I am excited to be with you here today to start the week right. If you can hear me and if you can see me, please say hi in the comments. Please let me know that you're watching and where you're watching from. I'm over here in Cebu City. Um, we are on modified GCQ starting today, pero wala pa mga jeeps or anything. Um, I think they're going to figure that out pretty soon. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, para makabiyahe naman. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about <laughs> mga GCQ pa. Feeling ko hindi pa safe, di ba? Pero, pero, you know, we'll, we'll, that's what we have. So, let's see how things go. You know, we'll, we'll hope and pray the best for our country, di ba? Especially as we start June, and a lot of places in the Philippines, we're, we're experiencing new changes. Diba? We're experiencing new changes, um, even around the world. Diba? We're experiencing new changes. So let's all hope that it's for the best. Diba? That's all. That's all we can do. We can hope and we can pray. Diba? Um, Mary, hello. Good morning, Keishi. Hello, 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 Karen. Hello, um, Melanie. Hello, Mary. Mary Rose from Dasma, Cavite, Cherry. Yeah, stay safe to all of you guys as well. Okay, okay, yeah, we have a number of, of people here. Oh, um, I can't share this, but that's a flip. Give me one moment here. Uh, um, no, I don't think I can share it. Anyway, we are here. We are live right now. Um, if, if Mahar or Anna, if you're there, if you can share it, that would be nice. Or later, if not, I'll share it later. Okay, um, good morning, Micaela from Santa Rosa. Uh, all right, all right. So today, it's, it's, it's time for our motivational message. Let's go ahead and get started, okay? So, I want to ask you, do you have a talent? May talent ba kayo? Does you watching right now, do you have a talent? I think I'm talented um, dito sa speaking, di ba? And that's, that's kind of my job. It's been my job for a while now. Um, to motivate people, to, to speak, to teach. How are you? What is your talent? Maybe it's cooking, maybe it's baking. Diba? You, you, we might have different talents, right? We, it, it's It's something that... I think all of us have naman, diba? All of us have a certain talent. Kahit, you know, playing Mobile Legend, that can be a talent, right? Do you have a talent maybe in singing or maybe in dancing or maybe in painting, diba? Or maybe you have a talent with numbers um, or, or codes or with words. Talents, these are usually discovered during our younger years, diba? Yung mga anak nyo, diba? You can see that they're, maybe they're painting something, you say, oh, talented naman anak mo, diba? Or maybe they're singing something, and then um, you, you can see that talent, kahit bata pa. And then they're developed towards adulthood, right? They're developed, they're seeing when, you, when, when, in, in the, when you're a kid or, or with your kids, and develop towards being adults. So you develop a talent, you know, if you give, and if you give enough time to practice it until you can say that you've already mastered the talent. Okay, you give so you know you have the talent. Then we have the innate talents. Back we have innate talents, but and then but you have to give the time. You have to give the time to develop the talent to to practice the talent until you can say that you've mastered it. Talaga. Sometimes talent is seen as the key. To success, right? Sometimes people think that okay, talented guy, then you can be successful, right? Sometimes they see it's seen that way. I want to ask you: Do you agree? Do you agree that talents are the key to success? Is is that something you agree with? Let me know. Let me know in the comments okay. if if that's something that you agree with. Okay, are talents the key to success? Share nyo, ano yung mga talents nyo? Diba, I ask you guys, ano yung mga talents nyo? Share nyo naman sa comments. I don't see any, you're saying good morning, pero let me know what your talents are. Diba? Well, what are your talents? Diba? Share, share nyo mga tayo. What, what, what talents do you guys have? Diba? I'm sure you have a talent that you can share. Wag, wag maya. Share in the comments. What are your talents? Sige. Uh, Maricel, yes, she agrees with the statement. Uh, yung mga talents nyo. Yeah, agree. Talent is key to success. Diba? Kind of. Kind of. Um, Karen says kind of. 
talent is a key success, kind of. Um, Melanie, yes. Tess, yes. Okay, so people are agreeing or, or saying sort of, you know, 100%, right? uh, Some Some people are, yes, some people are, baka, you know, maybe a little bit. Um, but what if you have a talent in numbers, but you don't have the desire to improve your learning, right? you, you have a talent, you're talented, but wala kang passion. You, it's not something that you're, you want to do. What if you have the talent in singing, but you don't practice your vocal cords? Right? Maybe maybe talented ka when you're a kid, but you don't practice. You don't develop that talent. And you, know, you don't have it when you need it. Right? What if you have a talent in writing, but you decline writing jobs? Kahit magaling ka pa, you don't want to apply for writing jobs because you don't feel like writing at the moment. Right? And we all have that. Right? Kahit talented tayo, like... Um, I remember I took up accounting, pero I never practiced accounting because I found it boring. <laughs> Sorry for any accountants out there, pero right, diba? What if you have that talent, but you don't want those kind of jobs, diba? Will you be successful? So you see, talent will be nothing if you don't apply it, diba? If you don't apply it and you don't exert effort to practice that talent and then identify your room for improvement so that you can practice and develop it some more. Right? Talent will be nothing if you don't apply it, if you don't exert effort, if you don't take the time to practice it and identify your rooms for improvement, your areas for improvement. How can your talent help you if you can't help yourself achieve the goals that you have, if you can't put in the time, if you can't put in the effort, if you can't invest in yourself? I don't know your talents, mo, diba? Oh, if you If you can't do it, you have your own God-given talents. If you can't invest in your talents, if you can't put the time, wala lang. Eh, you won't be able to get anything out of those talents, right? Would you agree with me if I said talent is not enough to be successful? <laughs> to be successful, right? Would you agree with me that if I say, okay, having talent, that that's not enough. Just having talent is not enough to be successful. You know, it, you know, we said the key to success earlier, but just having the talent, I'm going to say it's not enough to be successful. Would you agree? Let me know in the comments, yes or no. And what if you lack talent in your chosen niche, in your chosen area, na kung what you want to practice? What if you lack talent in that area? Does that also mean that you will not be successful? Does that mean you will not be successful? That would be unfair, right? But, you know, life is kind of unfair. Now, when you know that talent is not enough, right? You know that talent's not enough. You'll see that there are other factors that you can work on so that you can achieve your goals. Okay? Talent is not enough. There are other factors so that you can achieve your goals. First, you need desire. Right? It's a strong desire to reach your goal. Because hey, once again, if talented, ka, oh, just my headset here. If talented, ka, but you're not doing anything, if you don't have the passion, if you don't have the desire to do it, to reach your goal, baliwala lang yun. When you have the strong desire to achieve a result it will be a great head start to your journey it's that great push towards achieving your goals secondly you need to hustle so what do we mean we need to hustle you need to do the work right you need to do the work you need to put in the work right you need to study you need to identify mistakes that you've made in the past you need to learn how to overcome them Right? Find your areas for improvement. Find your find your weaknesses and find your opportunities, and learn how to overcome them. You need to. You have to exert effort in planning, in executing, and delivering the results you want. So, kailangan pa rin ng effort, hindi lang talent, di ba? And lastly, you need to give your 110 percent. You really need to push yourself all the time. Always make sure that when you work, you're giving all your best. Okay, when you work, you're giving your best. Give your 110% best. Well, that's not possible, but you know what I mean, right? You give your best. Never settle for mediocre level of working, you know? Um, you know if you do, then you're going to have mediocre results. Kahit may talent ka pa, kahit you nurtured your talent, you gave effort in parang growing your talent, pero when you put in the work, if you don't put in your, your do, if you don't do your best, you're going to get mediocre results. Parin. When you do give your best always, you will get the best results. Okay, When you give your best, that's when you give the best results. So what, what was that? Can anybody recap for me? You know, what, what we talked about today? Can anybody um, recap our discussion about talents and so on? 
when you have your 100%, 110% best results, that's another great step towards your goals. You know, sometimes you may lack the talent, but when you have the determination to hustle and when you give your best all the time, that will be your strongest tool to make you unstoppable in achieving your goals. Okay, remember that. Even if you lack the talent, you know, of course, if you may talent guy, then, 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 that's better. You're better off, right? May advantage ka. Pero even if you lack the talent, when you have the determination to hustle and give your best all the time, that will be your strongest tool to make you unstoppable in achieving your goals. All right. Um, so now that I have you here, a couple of um, reminders. A couple of reminders for you guys. So, you know, may nagree ka ba? <laughs> recap what did we talk about okay um, so a couple of reminders later at 5 p.m um, there's flip chat and chill discussion what should you consider an internship pro why you should, you should you consider an internship program when you're just starting out in freelancing and on Wednesday at 5 30 p.m um, we have an interview with Gladys Cabrera she'll be sharing how she booked three clients on upwork after being rejected multiple times times okay how she booked three clients in upwork after being rejected multiple times okay so you don't want to miss that this wednesday at 5 30 p.m and later at 5 p.m we have this discussion why why should you consider an internship program when you are just starting out all right guys so once again um let me know let me know well i don't have the the, the slide here but um, I want us to make our, our commitment. Our, in the comments below, make, make a comment, make that commitment. I want us to, to state, like, what talent or what niche are you committing to yourself? Okay, not, not really to everybody else, but committing to yourself to improve and committing yourself to, to invest time, effort, maybe money in, and committing to put in your best efforts. Okay, so may, write in the comments below. Um, what is that talent, that skill, that area, or that niche that you're committing um, to put your best in, to give your best effort? It could be writing, it could be um, e-commerce, it could be um, programming, it could be designing. Share it in the comments below. All right. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you, um, I'll see you well, next week with our, with our next uh, Monday Motivational video. Pero, um, oh yeah, wala pala dito sa ano. Sa, sa slides but we have um this saturday pala this saturday um yep this saturday we have a webinar once again for for all mga bagong members of flip and um for those but an introductory webinar we do this every month new introduction into what is freelancing and what is flip so if you have mga friends um who you want to invite and you want to learn about freelancing you can have them attend the webinar this Saturday night. I think we're going to do it at around 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock p.m. All right, guys, thank you for your time, and you have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.